Hey, what's up, guys? Betty here, and welcome to my top five best assault rifle loadouts for Call of Duty Warzone Season 2. If you're new around here, please take a second to hit that subscribe button and let me know what you think down in the comments below. But let's get straight into it, because with Season 2, there has been a whole ton of changes. There's been a new assault rifle added. There's been a, a load of buffs and nerfs and adjustments to how different attachments and setups work. And... It has been the best place ever in Warzone history of what is actually viable to use now. You've got a whole range of options. However, there is still the cream that rises to the top. And we're starting off with the return of what I think is everyone's favorite assault rifle with Call of Duty Vanguard. The changes to bullet velocity have just brought this back into play. And it is the automaton. And... On the automaton, right, we're going to start off with the MX Silencer. This is now your go-to silencer for any assault rifle uh, in Call of Duty Warzone. It gives you both vertical and horizontal recoil control, as well as giving you that sound suppression. So you can be on top of a hill in cold air, taking people down, um, and they're not going to have any idea. And one of the great things of the automaton as well is its incredible fire rate mixed in with little to no recoil, just allows you to wipe entire squads with ease. One of the big changes to this build is we now use the Zac 600 mil BFA barrel rather than the Anastasia sniper. Because if you remember, it always started off with the Empress 620, which reduced your body damage. So you had to hit those headshots. Then it was the sniper. Now it's the 600 mil. So make sure you've got that. Uh, the optic of choice for me is the three to six times. Um, you can change that if you want to use a G, uh, G16 2.5, you can, or one of the slate scopes. Um, the stock, you want the Anastasia padded for actual in record during sustained fire and that flinch resistance tight grip as well and to improve that recoil control when you fire when you're spraying down at your opponents fully loaded and now there is one thing that i've started doing because i'm running combat scout to allow myself to run um combat style scout instead of amped um i now run tapes grip on my assault rifle and smg however if you don't want to do that you're using amps you can switch this for the polymer grip for even more recoil control uh, it's just something i personally do and you don't really need it with this particular loadout either then you want the 75 round drum lengthened which did get changed it got nerfed um by it used to increase bullet velocity by 30 percent. it now does it by 10 percent. however that rest of that bullet velocity has been spread across the gun which is why it is still very very viable in one of the meta assault rifles now um and this goes across the board for a lot of uh, vanguard assault rifles um and then finally you have the m1941 hand stop which gives you recoil control and accuracy Absolute laser, one of the best assault rifles. You're going to be seeing it used a lot in tournaments this season um, alongside a couple of the others uh, within this video. Now, I personally paired out with the MP40. Um, my MP40 has changed because, as you know, the incendiary rounds received a pretty big nerf, which reduces your overall damage of your gun, which is something that I wasn't 100% sure. Um, but it also... Um, it just means you want to run different ammo types now. Muzzle, recoil booster, Krosnik 317 mil uh, barrel, which is the one at the top. I then use the Krosnik ISO 1, uh, which is the bottom iron sight. 33M folding stock, brace, quick. Um, I now run brace rather than unmarked, uh, which gives me uh, initial firing recoil. So when I see someone, I can just snap my shot straight onto them. Um, I then have the tape grip, as up for why I mentioned earlier. 7.62 Gorenko 45 round mag, and then subsonic. You're going to see a lot of people running subsonic now um, on their SMGs and then changing their perk uh, away from a mark. So recoil booster gives you that faster faster fire rate giving you the fastest ttk possible um subsonic drops your bullet velocity a bit but that's not that big of a deal with an smg then i use the mark 6 skeletal underbarrel for a faster ads to finish it off now unbelievable loadout give it a go let me know what you think in the comments as we move on to my second loadout which i know a lot of people are going to be a big fan of because the xm4 is disgusting in Warzone Season 2 uh, is a full-blown return. And I, it's what I love at the moment. There is such a good range of options for Modern Warfare weapons, Cold War weapons, and also Vanguard are what you want to use. Raven are doing a really good job in balancing all these weapons where they've got so many to manage. But the muzzle is that agency suppressor, the 13.5 inch task force barrel, the action alarms three times. Remember when you do this to change your reticle to whatever you want. Um, like everyone's got their different preferences. Like I use a green dot or I use that precision. Um, but yeah, you can use what you want. Field agent grip and then the 45 round mag to wrap that up. And I, I tend to use this um, as like a sniper support assault rifle because uh, it's got a really good fire rate. So it can take people down at those close ranges if you need to 
switch very quickly. Um, and my sniper of like choice at the moment is the car 98k. Uh, it's between this and the Swiss. The Swiss has got a slightly faster fire rate, uh, but the aim assist on the car 98 is definitely much stronger. So it's a lot easier to get those consistent headshots. So this is a trade off depending on how good a sniper you are. But Monolithic Suppressor, Singard Custom 27.6, TAC Laser, Sniper Scope, and then the ST Volt Precision Comb Stock um, to finish up that particular loadout. And all my perks are pretty much the same EOD, Overkill, Amped. Frag grenades and stims. Um, stims, you can just make so many clutch plays in Caldera and pull off flanks and or just like wait in the gas. And uh, you, I cannot stress how often stims help me. And with that extra movement speed, when you stick it in you now and just go, right? You can just, no, no one can beat you. If you pop your stim slide into a room, you're going to come out on top of that gunfight. And yes, the Bren in season two is still top. Um, it's It didn't get nerfed anywhere near as much as I thought it was going to. Uh, it's pretty tough to, to kind of take it out of contention. But the MX Silencer, once again, is going to be your go-to suppressor for that recoil control. You then want the Queen 705 mil Royal Barrel. Um, three to six times, but once again, choose whichever optic you like. I then use the Queen's Model 11BH stock. Then I've got the M1941 hand stop, the 6.5 Secura 40 round mag, pretty standard. Ammo is then lengthened. We then got the rear grip as the polymer grip. Um, we're, we're already seeing this kind of meta start to evolve with what attachments you're using. Um, and the polymer grip is just kind of the go-to because you, you know, you're holding your trigger down. You want that increased recoil. One of the strongest attachments in the game. Paired with tight grip, which also uh, like stacks on top of it, uh, and then fully loaded to wrap it up, so you're never running out of ammo. Uh, I personally love the Bren still. It, it, it was it was ridiculously powerful. Now the SMG, I know you guys are gonna love with this, and it is the Lapper. True Game Data brought this back into play, and uh, it has got a very fast TTK. And this is the particular build that I go with. I use the Agency Suppressor. It's the best suppressor, to be perfectly honest with you. The 7.9 inch rifled barrel, which uh, increases your damage and fire rate giving you the fastest ttk possible i then use the 50 round mag in there so i can take on multiple opponents and one of the must have attachments for this in my opinion is the microflex led optic um because the iron sight is just horrific and because of that i don't need to run an underbarrel with this um, i'm quite, quite comfortable controlling the recoil of it so i run the raider stock which gives me faster ads fire movement speed aim walking movement speed and sprint to fire time so um you're going to be really set for a lot of the engagements that you get into especially with the mobility side of things um people are going to start using this a lot more i think it's just one of those smgs because the iron sight is so bad no one wants to use but it, it pairs really nicely with the bren uh if you're wanting to use that particular smg the ots works as well if you haven't got that ranked up next we've got the cooper carbine one of my personal favorites i think just because of the high rate of fire it's a great all-round weapon especially on modes like rebirth island MX Silencer, 22 inch Cooper custom barrel, the SVT, three to six times optic. I then have the Cooper 45 RS stock, tight grip, fully loaded, the polymer grip, the 60 round mag, lengthened, and then the M1930 strife angled. However, you can really um, swap this out however you want, like the Mark VI skeletal works as well. I just really like how um, the aim walking steadiness works with the Cooper Carbine. So when you're strafing and a lot of fights, especially on Rebirth, when you're kind of peeking in and out of corners, uh, it just kind of flows really nicely, in my opinion. But that is an incredible setup. And I'm pairing that with the Well Gun, which currently has one of the highest KDs out of all the SMGs uh, in Warzone Season 2. You want the Recoil Booster, the 120mm Gawain Short Barrel, the Slate Reflector, because currently, for some reason, the, oh, the Iron Sights have actually been added into the game. So you can go for the Iron Sight if you wish, just to have a little faster ADS speed. Um, I, I actually didn't realize they had added those. I was like, I've just been running the Slate Reflector, because these were not in the game beforehand. Um, so you can go for that if you wish. The Gawain Skeletal Stock, Gun Ho, uh, which um, is one of the strongest perks in Warzone because the sprint to fire time is like, say, 100 milliseconds, right? That is just completely eliminated, giving you a faster overall time to kill in like kind of real terms because the amount of people that are just sat like crouching isn't a normal thing of an SMG. So it's one of the strongest perks out of SMGs. Quick Polymer Grip, the 40 round uh, Gorenko Mag, Subsonic, so you can run the Recoil Booster as well as Gun Ho, and then the Mark VI Skeletal Stock. Incredible, incredible SMG, um, and uh, is, is, you know, is, is one of the top SMGs in the game right now. Then we've got EOD, 
Overkill, Amped, Frag Grenade, and Stim. As we move on to my final class setup of the video, where we have the Cold War AK-47. Um, an all-time classic. I think this with the XM4 are two of the strongest guns in the game right now. Um, and comparing it to like the M40, which has just been added with this season, these two just, just beat them. Like... Yes, they have five attachments, but those attachments kind of balance the weapon out a lot more than the, the 10 total. Um, but Gru Suppressor, 20-inch Spetnaz RPK barrel, actual arms three times, Spetnaz grip, and the 45-round mag. Then I'm pairing that with the Owen gun, another one of the best SMGs this season. Recoil booster, 188 mil shrouded barrel. Then I use the Slate 2.5 times custom because one of the horrible things with the Owen is you get that huge mag in the way when you're ADSing. This particular scope means that it got, sits on the top and removes that. It's a lot, a much, much cleaner image when aiming down sight. The stock is then remove stock. You've got acrobatic for increased movement speed and uh, like sprinting move speed, so you get around the map faster. Uh, quick stippled grip tape. Then the 7.62 72 round mag. You can take out so many people with this. Subsonic, so you stay off radar. And then the Mark 6 skeletal stock. But those are my five best assault rifle loadouts in Warzone Season 2 right now. Let me know if you agree or disagree down in the comments below and share any other classes you have. And I will see you next time for more Call of Duty Warzone. Thanks for watching.